Hi and welcome to Wholehearted Me. All right, there's been a beta update I wanted to just show you. I go the long way just to show you where it is. So version 3.6.0.1806 for those that are interested. And a beta update like this generally means that you guys will, uh, it'll come out as the regular update in a little while. So beta 3.6, let's just have a look, learn as you go. Learning to use a new device can be tricky. In this update, we've added a new section in the main menu called Guides. I'll show you that in a minute, where you can get up to speed or brush up on your skills. There's also some useful bug fixes. Excuse me, what's new? Accessible learning. So there's this is the page I'm going to show you in a tick. Go to Guides in the main menu for tutorials, tips, and overview of touch gestures, and to find a link, um, there's a QR code um, over here on the right side to find a link to our learning and inspiration hub using Remarkable. And then the bug fixes, we've introduced several quality of life updates, including to file export and mixed text input. You can write, I won't, I won't, uh, you can write while you're typing. Anyway, I won't, um, I won't spoil the fun. Alrighty, so let's close, let's close that and let us, have a look so I've just summarized it you know you know me if you've been here before I like I'm a visual visual person so learn as you go accessible learning let's have a look at the guides all right in the menu now on the menu bar on the left hand side you've got all the regulars and then here down here down the bottom you've got guides so let's click on guides Ooh. so just to get the easy one that's the QR code. So what you can do easily um, is let me, if I had my phone, I could just open, I don't know if you know how to use QR codes, but this is how you do it. When you put your phone, oh, and now it's not doing it. Why is, oh, sorry. You need to be in photo mode, okay? <laughs> there's a learning, there's a learning for you. Um, so be in photo mode. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. And when you go down there, it says remarkable.com. So if you tap on it, it'll say open in your browser. You, it will take you to their, uh, what, what it's called um, the Learning and Inspiration Hub. So that's a quick link to get there. All right, let's hop off that. And let me go back there to what I was on there. Then we're going to have a look at these. There's the tutorial. There's the tool tips, and then there's the touch gestures. I will show you that sheet, but I'm actually gonna make a separate video tutorial for all of our beginners, because it is very useful. And they've updated um, all of that too, which is beautiful. So let's just have a quick look at the tutorial. You start the tutorial. This is it here. Um, you can skip it, but obviously we've clicked into it. Getting started. These six steps will show you how to use your Remarkable and introduce you to some ways of working. Learn more. Sometimes you just gotta work out how hard to press. If you're new, there is um, a skill set in getting the temperature, the pressure, sorry, not temperature, the pressure right on your machine. Types of documents. To record ideas, write and sketch, create a new notebook or quick sheet by using the plus icon above that's up here so let me just i'm going to go through this uh different ways to organize categorize your work using keywords such as on hold or in progress by creating tag tags which are available over in your menu then next navigation and actions to select an item to tag favorite rename duplicate send move or delete do the long press so you press and hold it for two seconds uh, writing and reading, you've now got access, which is really cool. Pages of notebooks can be as long or as short as you need. So you can swipe that way, you can swipe this way. That's really cool. Uh, text and formatting. In addition to your pen strokes here that work with your marker, you can also take notes using type text, which is really cool. Text comes in three different sizes. So um, when you open up your text, there's a little tiny icon on the left and you can change to titles, subheadings and bullets. And the formattings you can use are bold and italics. You can double tap a word and it will highlight that word and then you can use bold and italics. But you can't do a, 
a joint select, like make drag. You can't do drag and select. That doesn't work. Note taking across devices. To make the most of your content, download our mobile app. So that's the mobile app on the phone there. That's my phone. You can also download it on. I can't show it to you right now. I've got something on. Let me, let me just, uh, here it is. On the iPad, you can also download it there, but you will probably use it in conjunction with your Chrome browser. That's um, there, and then, and you also on your browser. So download the mobile and desktop apps, uh, obviously on your laptop as well. Uh, take notes on the go with Connect. So that's an extra subscription that you purchase from on a monthly basis with Remarkable. So menu, guides, that is the getting started tutorials. It's very good if you're brand new, just gives you a lovely overview. Let's have a look at tool tips. Let's open, oh, what document is it gonna open? <laughs> it always opens the last document. Two fingers from the top gets you the document drawer. Hang on. And let's just go into, let's go into the document we're in, 3.6. Now, can you notice that black dot next to every single option in the left menu bar? Because that is the tool tip that we're going to look at right now. So if I tap on the pen, it's going to, this is the tool tip. So I'm just going to quickly zoom. I'm not going to read them all. You can read that. Then you go on type text, tool tip. Close that. Go on the eraser pencil case it's called now tooltip. Go on the selection tooltip. Then it doesn't have, when you do write, these do come up with dots. The redo, this is undo and redo. This is your grid view, which I'll just show you. There's no tooltip with this. Um, and then you go back. Uh, now this is your tags function, tooltip. This is your layers function, tooltip. This is the this is the whole um, sharing to screen and doing that, and it's um, converting your notes to text, which only works on a blank page or a native notebook. And these are your settings tooltip. Okay, so that's what um, th that's always been here on the Remarkable, but it was hidden away. Um, you had to get into settings and go and find it and turn it on so now they've made it super easy by putting it here in guides so that's tool tips touch gestures this is the sheet i'm going to make another video now about this just to show our newbies um, what the touch gestures are this is fantastic I, I i love this the visual learning that's available to you there are four ways to learning um and so visual auditorial auditory doing it yourself in kinesthetic, so a combination. So it's really great to give information in more than one format, right? So look at that. that that's, just, that's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. I love it. So we will do this. I'll go through each one of these for those newbies that need that. So that is the new guide. Now, the only other thing I'm going to show you right now is something about type text. So just to, sorry, let me just go back to, where is it? So pull that down. We've done, we did that, that, oh, good idea to be in a pen. So we've done that, 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 that. We did all those. Now the bug fixes, the quality of life updates, I'm still looking for what these are. Um, files to export. I haven't noticed a difference yet, but obviously it's there. I've just, uh, the functionality in the last day that I haven't used that. Mixed text input. This is interesting. So let me just hop out the document. When I go into typed text, look at this, watch this. Uh, just so you know, uh, now, actually I'm not sure if you could do it before, but if you double tap, with the right amount of pressure, it'll automatically bring up your keyboard, right? I always leave in, I don't edit out those mistakes because when you are a beginner in this space, when you're new to the Remarkable, you think you're doing something wrong when it doesn't, the screen doesn't respond and you're not doing anything wrong, okay? That's really important. And so that's why I leave in the imperfections of using this device. We all have to learn how much pressure to swipe with, how much pressure to tap with. And sometimes you just hit the wrong thing and you just get it wrong, wrong. So um, 
I do see, you know, some frustration and that's why I like to leave it in just to let you know it, it's okay. It's okay to get it wrong sometimes. Okay. What, look at this now. Watch this. You couldn't do that before. You couldn't uh, write and type at the same time. It wouldn't work. So I do think, and it's still there. Look, and now I could, I can get rid of it. I can even, let's see what happens if I erase all. It's, it's still just the handwriting text, right? And my typing is all still there. The, way, the only way you can really erase typing is to go back into typing. I don't know if it's because I'm holding that pen and actually delete that word. All right, but I like that word in there. I'm going to put it back. <laughs> um, close. So uh, typing is fairly 101 on this machine. You've got your you've got your bolding, your italicizing, and you've got your three. When you double tap on it and this, this little option here comes up, that is the styles. They're the styles. You can do those styles, normal text, subheading, heading, and oops, the bullet, the bullet point. Uh, and then you can click off it and close it. And that typing is pretty safe when you're not inside the uh, keyboard. And can you see now the tooltip came up? Because I did something, the tooltip came up with the dot because I haven't, um, so if I undid that, it's going to give me a tooltip. You see that? But I want to redo that <laughs> and it's going to give me a tooltip for that. Now, I've, I've done all the tooltips. Those dots are not going to show up again because it's, it's, they've done it once. All right. So um, I think we have covered 3.6. We've covered everything. That's the new guides that are available. And I'm sure there are more quality of life updates, which I will come across. But um, I probably will have worked out by the time this becomes the regular uh, update, by the time that becomes not beta, um, I'm sure I will have worked out what those quality of life updates are. And um, I like to do a video when an update comes out because oftentimes people haven't seen this one anyway so i will do one when the next software update comes out so i hope that's helpful for you especially if you're not in beta you can sort of see what they're working on right now because i think within a month i could be wrong i'm not i'm certainly not uh i, I don't work with remarkable so i don't know this for a fact but the last few whilst i've been in the beta program the last few updates have come out uh between two to four five weeks after the beta update so that's when you could be expecting it but it may not happen so please don't uh, don't um don't hold me to that i'm just giving you an estimate if that bit of information that may or may not help you awesome all right a little bit of love on the channel would be great always appreciate that thank you so much have a great day guys